Uh, so what do you want me to tell you about how it's... Right. So, hello everyone. Right, I'm here in High Wycombe at the Food Hub. Wycombe food Hub. Wycombe, Wycombe Food Hub. And um, it is just amazing um, the fact that living in Folkestone, we don't have this for people that, you know, need to eat, heat and everything. It is just fantastic. So can I just ask you... Um, what, what, what actually made you make this or, 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 or you know? Okay, so it started in 2020. Um, I'm Steve, I'm one of the directors. Hello, Stephen. Uh, one of the uh, food, oh, directors of the Food Hub. So it started during COVID um, and it started off with a couple of uh, guys that were uh, looking to, um, uh, they went to like Lidl and Aldi and found they were chucking away a load of like the donuts and those things because people weren't coming into the shops. So they spoke to the supermarket uh, owners and said we'll pick these up at the end of the day and then distribute it to people's doors because people couldn't get out and, um, uh, you know, just going out. So a chance to meet people on the doors and uh, ask if they want any medication. And then from that, it's sort of grown. We started with a couple of trestle tables across the way in the churchyard and um, uh, we've got a team of volunteers um, sort of around um, just sort of shy of uh, 100 in total that there's teams that will be the drivers that they'll go and um, pick up from uh, supermarkets at the end of the day and drop it to our shop and then we've got a team of volunteers that have come here to the shop stack the shelves uh, and we've also got our um, Bobkins Bazaar which is behind us which is oh, yeah, um, sort of similar to a charity shop that sells uh, clothes and so it's one being able to um, uh, feed people and then uh, also with sustainability as well then you know, so we're not chucking away so much waste so, and um, how it works if that was going to be a question you're going to ask that people coming here they can take a, a basket a metal basket and for three pound can fill fill it up to a level um, uh, up to a certain level and there's um, uh, we were sort of trying to spread um, it so everybody can uh, have something so, 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 so how it works say for example tins that you can get like one tin of beans bread you can take a fair bit of that because we get quite a lot of bread uh, as well as sort of fruit and veg and uh, yet yeah, like our sort of our tagline is um, affordable living for all. affordable living see this is exactly what we don't have in Folkestone mm. why don't we have this like uh, this, this outfit in, yeah. and the cake post? Um, I, th I think it's probably the sort of, uh, there, there's your traditional food bank model where you've either got to uh, be um, referred to by your doctor or by the job centre um, but then there's this mi missing market of people that sort of are just uh, don't quite sort of meet that criteria but actually uh, would benefit for something like uh, a food hub and there are ones that are um, growing there's for example Oxford Oxford have got a food hub and there's ones in sort of different different names so it may just sort of take um, some people in Folkestone to have the ingenuity to be able to, to do it